and we're here at Hot Stacks. So here is my breakfast. Check that out, people. So we might need all three of these. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you and just for you. I am in the awesome town of Cookstown, Ontario, Canada. I think it's the first time I've done a review here in this town. And we're here at Hot Stacks. It's a all day breakfast restaurant. I've never been here before. I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna go in there and order something called the Lumberjack. And I think it's like three eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes. And of course at a place called Hot Stacks, you gotta order their pancakes and see if they're any good. Are you guys ready? Let's go. in the car ladies and gentlemen let's unpack all this stuff oh my so what I got was the lumberjack I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay I sleep all night and I work all day great song uh, so I got a small milk orange juice the lumberjack and a coffee to go and uh, the lumberjack was eleven dollars and fifty cents and the total bill came to $20.57. Uh, Check it out the trusty tray. Like I was saying, this is gonna be more of a mukbang kind of thing. When I do like bacon and eggs and stuff, I have to have orange juice. When I do pancakes and stuff, I have to have milk. When I'm alive, I have to have coffee. <laughs> she says they only have one size, unfortunately. I prefer large. I guess when you're sitting in a place like this, you usually don't get coffee to go at this kind of a restaurant, uh, and you would just get free top-ups as the morning progressed, as you kept eating. And their lid works good, nice, caution, hot, cheers, good morning people. Are you a morning person? My wife can't stand how quickly I get out of bed in the morning. Like when my alarm goes off, it's like, I'm standing and I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Are you like that or are you like just drag your ass out of the bed, crawl to the washroom, crawl back to bed, hit snooze? Are you that kind of person? I sure love to sleep in sometimes, but when I wake up, I wake up. I'm like, hell man, I'm alive. All right, so again, the lady was amazing because she just made sure I had anything and everything I wanted. Oh, whipped cream. I'm not usually a whipped cream on my pancake kind of guy, like on waffles, sure. We got all the syrups, all, oh my god, three, three syrups. We got jam, strawberry jam. Strawberry jam is my favorite jam. Yo, it's my favorite jam. So this is gonna be, this is gonna take a while to eat, so hope you have something beside you. I'm gonna just dump this bag out. I said it's full of stuff. She gave me tons of napkins. I'll probably need one salt, one pepper. She gave me way too many ketchups. Uh, we utilize those for people's lunches and things when they're going out. All right, I'm gonna put my orange juice there. It's safe. Calm down, it's safe. Holy schmoly. I, I, like I said, I need to eat the eggs. Pancakes, you know, everything. Oh my gosh, it's a disaster. All right, let's get into this. I can't see this being bad in any way, so look at that. Oh, I think I gotta take a picture of this. Check it out. Hello. Hi, we forgot your post. Oh. Because we, I was gonna tell you to hold on, then we got into your coffee and I forgot that it was coming, so we forgot to give you your toast, but you're still here, so I'm gonna go get it for you. Thank you. I was just kind of looking to see if you were still here. The kind lady came out and told me I for she forgot my toast, which is really nice of her. So here is my breakfast. Check that out, people. Isn't that beautiful? Scratch it. Sniff it. You guys can scratch it. You guys can sniff it. The rest 
is definitely mine. That bacon is super crispy. Look at that, not limp. Two sausage, two bacon, three eggs, uh, melon. I'm not a huge melon kind of guy. Ooh la la. But, uh, and the other thing too is eating, eating this kind of a meal with, an, with plastic knives and forks. So there's my pancakes. Oh yeah, ready to go. I wanna take a picture of this, hang on. You know what I should do, just for the photo. Look at this shit. Here it comes. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Sorry about that. That's all right. Okay, enjoy. I will. The lady just brought up my toast for me, so thank you very much for that. I'm just getting ready to take a picture for the social medias. If you don't follow me on the social medias, what the hell are you doing here? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> this is insane. Quick sip of coffee before we proceed. Mm. Okay, let's do some pepper. Yeah, that's how you do it, right there. And I had a salt. Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> oh, too much, too much. Don't need all that salt. All right, let's go in for a little bit of the sausage. Who loves the sausage? Ooh la la. Sausage or bacon? I prefer both. If you have a lumberjack. Hmm. The eggs are done to perfection, man. When uh, JP and I were at uh, the Waffle House, the guy was cooking so fast that he wanted the eggs to be done, but they weren't done on top. And so he got a spoon and he scooped up all that, what we call snot, off the, uh, the top of the egg. And uh, that's how I was presented my eggs. And when I'm in this situation, I gotta eat my bacon like this. Cause this isn't gonna cut it. Mm-hmm. This home fries look half decent. And if I had a proper plate, a proper knife and fork, I would just, I would mess this up big time and then put my salt and pepper on top. I love it all mixed together. It all complements uh, itself. Come on. There we go. A little bit more egg and sausage. The bacon's done per to perfection. The sausage sausages are exactly the kind of sausage that I love for breakfast. Sometimes you get those big fat ones and they just seem more greasy than it seemed, whether they are or not, I don't know. But these style of sausages are my fave. So far, this place is doing all right. I'm just worried about the pancakes. Because most, most places that do pancakes like this, they get it from a box, like the mix. Um, I don't know, I don't know of any restaurants maybe you guys do over there but uh make their um, pancake batter by hand or from scratch of course they make it with their hands i'm not going to eat all the potatoes right now okay i broke up my bacon by spearing it that works i'm going to be definitely eating my eggs my sausage, my bacon. This is too many potatoes. I'm going down to go for a bike ride with Paul today, my buddy Paul. And a lot of you guys keep asking, where's Cook and Review? And we've mentioned it a bunch of times. Paul was in a motorcycle accident back in May, a year ago. So Paul just had his one year anniversary from his motorcycle accident. He's still not feeling well. Not, he's not 100%. And he lost one of his cooks for a month at the Tickled Toad. He owns a restaurant. Paul has to work doubles. And in his condition, he shouldn't be working really at all. He can be doing like small jobs, but he shouldn't be in the kitchen for hours and hours and hours cooking people's food. I went to visit him a few days, uh, last Friday or last Wednesday.
I just hung out in the kitchen and kind of kept him company while he was while he was cooking. I just can't. I just don't know how to cook, and I'd be in his way. If I knew, I'd help him, but I don't. So cooking review might make a return. It might not. I don't know. I haven't had a good breakfast in a while. This is definitely hitting this spot. Here's another thing I do at breakfast time when I have a breakfast like this. Is I usually have two toasts, white, buttered, and uh, I usually use, use this to clean up my plate because uh, I don't like wasting any of my yolk. And then the other one, I would put my jam on, and that would be my breakfast dessert, I guess you could call it. Mm hmm. Almost all clean. I don't like wasting any of my egg. Mm hmm. So let me know in the comments below if you mop up your egg with your toast. So I'm gonna close this up. I would normally finish everything, put my jam on that, and then I would be done. But because I ordered pancakes to go along with this, I'm gonna shut this up for now. I'm gonna have to kind of clean that off with my lips. I'm going to see if I can tell if their pancakes were from a box. It's rude to lick your knife. I don't think it's rude. I think it's just stupid. But it's not a sharp knife. That's being careful. Alright. So, uh, let's put that there for a second. Let's go whipped cream since they gave it to me. If that was whipped butter... Nope. Whipped cream. And again, if I come back here again to order breakfast. Don't lick your knife, it's rude. I say no no whipped cream. Not now that I know that they do whipped cream, because I wouldn't have even expected them to put whipped cream. At least they put it on the side, which is kind of good. I wonder if I ordered it in there, or would it come to me with whipped cream on it? Or would she even ask? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Let's go. So we might need all three of these. I It doesn't look like it. I think one's gonna do it, maybe two. So far they look like they're from a box, but I could be wrong. Super light and fluffy. Hmm. And yeah, they have that box. Sorry hot stacks if, if uh, you make these yourself, but I don't think so. Because I make my own pancakes. My family's made their own pancakes our whole life. I might share the recipe with you one day. But they're my favorite pancakes. Carol's family always ate ancient Jemima pancakes. And uh, the first time I made her pancakes, she was like, oh my God, those are so good. So if you've always had ancient Mima pancakes, try making your own, look up a recipe, or wait, and uh, I might share my recipe with you. I'm not saying these are bad. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying homemade pancakes are better than box pancakes. And that was my proof. <laughs> I'm definitely going to eat one of these. Take the other one home for later. When I have a sweet breakfast, I have to have that. I have to. <clears throat> Coffee's always good. Yeah. Good coffee, I, I would say uh, one sugar would be fine. 
because again the size of the cup but she said would you like milk or cream I said well you got cream use the cream and that was a good choice people I think I've done everything that I need to do I'll put them in there for now close that up I, did, I, I drank all my orange juice That is good coffee, let me tell you. Mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that breakfast was fantastic. Um, again, I would probably, uh, if I was to come back here again, say, you know, no whipped cream, um, maybe one pancake. I'm not sure if they always sell two or, or whatever, but I would never order all this food. I just wanted to, to try a bunch of things from this restaurant in one shot. I hope you enjoyed that. Excuse me. It was that good, people. The overall experience, guys, on my rating scale is a go out and get it now. So that's my rating for this place, Hot Stacks in Cookstown. Uh, if you are from anywhere in this area, you know about Hot Stacks, I would imagine. And I bet a lot of you guys come to this restaurant. Uh, it's been around a long, long time. All right, guys, if you love these mukbangs and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. Ding, and we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.